Here at the STFC in Darsbury, Vitalis has installed many innovative and unusual types of visualisation systems. These allow the research scientists to carry out a range of different scientific projects to collaborate with each other and also with remote workers. The sorts of projects they're engaged in involve big data or complex data in many different forms. So having a, a highly detailed, accurate model of the facility enables the engineers at their end to be able to work out exactly how to interface with our equipment. And ultimately that saves you a lot of time and money in re-engineering because if you can get it right first time using this model, then you can just turn up, plug in and go. And that makes things very, very efficient from the point of view of the customers. And it works for us as well because it reduces our downtime trying to set these experiments up. The more work you can do beforehand, uh, the much better, the much higher chance of success you've got with the experiment. So there's two real reasons why we like to get the human back in the loop with supercomputing and to use the visualisation to do this. The first is the human, and the human visual system is still far more powerful than certain some computer algorithms are, like actually spotting anomalies and mistakes in some cases. There are still no universal computer algorithms to get you the unique answer to go through the large amounts of data. And the second, almost more importantly, is even though we're surrounded by huge amounts of computing power and very green computing power, it's still not infinite. So it needs a human to actually guide the control of that power. And we're trying to bring that into the middle of the computation. So the work here at STFC is trying to get the human in the loop, but in that computational loop, and to, and to guide the processing power whilst it's happening. Consider an example where the, you're doing a long computational run for certain studies. You may run for 20 hours. It is an amazing facility to basically allow you to actually monitor what's happening on the hour, every hour, and then decide whether your computation should be stopped, changed, or restarted, so that we can be very efficient with the use of both the computers and the humans operating it. So one of the key components we have to interact is these room, visualization rooms are directly connected by fibre optics to the supercomputing data store. We can monitor and control and then here interact directly with the, as any advanced visualization software we have so that we can then apply the best of visualization to the best of the supercomputing.